The next segment is a request for statements. There's a request by the member for, is it member for where? Kiamba. The Honorable John Jovona Wanjiko. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Speaker, pursuant to standing order 442C, I wish to request for statement from the chairperson of the Departmental Committee on Transport, Public Works, and Housing regarding the Nairobi Western Bypass Road Project. Honorable Speaker, the Nairobi Western Bypass was commissioned in March 2019. The bypass, bypass which is 16.6 kilometer dual carriage, is part of the link road around Nairobi, which links the northern, the northern, southern, eastern, and upcoming western bypasses. The said bypass starts in Gitaro through Wangige and Dendero terminate in Ruaka. The construction of Nairobi Western Bypass was intended to not only decongest the Northern Corridor, but also to enhance the socio-economic development in both Nairobi City and Kambu counties. Honorable Speaker, contrary to the expectation of the residents of Kamba constituency, the project has had negative implication to the community as it has led to the destruction and demolition of properties to pave way for construction of the bypass. And that had had minimal benefit to residents. The contractor has failed to engage youth from the area in the project, and additionally, the project was, has led to displacement of traders at the local market, whose stores have been demolished without any compensation or provision of alternative parcel of land for the establishment of market. Honorable Speaker, it is against this background that I seek for a statement from the chairperson of the Departmental Committee on Transport, Public Works, and Housing on the following. Loman 1. How many residents, especially youth from Kemba constituency, are engaged in the Western Bypass Road project, specifying their job description? Loman 2. What measures are in place to ensure provision of access and link roads, in particularly connecting Karura and the Dero Shopping Center Gasharage and Ruaka towns, respectively, to the Western Bypass. Number three, what plans are in place to acquire an alternative piece of land for the relocation of Ruaka market? Number four, what will the resident, uh, when will the resident affected by the project be compensated? Thank you, Mr. Speaker.